So here we are, we're going to start a Craigslist account to help post the dogs in a safe um, way. Okay, so here we go. First of all, <coughs> Action. so go to www.craigslist.org and then you go to sign up for account. Click on that <coughs> and you put in your email address, whatever you have. Mine is dogs in boarding at gmail. Hit create account. And then you go to your dogs and boarding at gmail and you should have a password waiting for you. So once that's done, then you can go into, I'm going to show you an account that I already have. So here I am in one of my accounts, I've done a, a multiple um, listings and let me just show you one of them. So for instance, uh, Cameron, he's a dog that's in training right now. Um, I've added a couple of videos that I had for him, a little blurb. <clears throat> a little description about his age, weight, if he's neutered, that kind of stuff. And then I also put um, the link to the rescue group so that people know that it's not, you know, a dog for sale. And usually I put down an adoption fee and also a number for people to text uh, if they have any other questions. So I'm going to do another ad for Cameron and he's in the Pennsylvania area in a training facility. So I'm going to pick an area that's close to that. Now, because I've already done uh, an ad from already, this is what makes it nice and easy. I can just go and, well, this is how I originally did his ad also. I just copy the body of the blurb and the information about him with his videos. <coughs> Usually that's on a website for the rest group that the dog belongs to. Then I'll go to an area yeah, close to Pennsylvania. So I hit um, in the top left hand side corner Craigslist. And over here on the right hand side it shows different areas. So like Bingham is close to where he is in Pennsylvania. I'm going to hit Bingham. Then I'm going to hit post to classified. I scroll down to community. And then I hit pets. And then hit, yeah, there you go. So then I'm going to just copy and paste. So there we go. That's the body of um, his information. Posting title. So I'll put his name in. Cameron hit pointer, pointer mix, uh, loves other dogs. So I try and make sure that the um, the title is catchy and kind of describes him somewhat. And he is a, a loves other dogs, that's always good. Over here in specific location, I put 501C3 rescue because he's belonged to a rescue group. So people will know that um, it's not some kind of scam. Then I hit continue. The next thing I have to add now is um, his pictures, which I've already uh, downloaded onto my computer. So I'll just put this you know, pretty easy for anybody to do. So I usually label um, by putting like Cameron running. I like this picture. I always try and do the first picture, basically you know, the most eye-catching and kind of the one that describes the dog the most. Uh, he's a very active dog, so this picture kind of describes his personality. I have a couple of other ones that I just add on. <coughs> I usually try and get pictures myself or have someone help me. Uh, I usually like pictures of the dog, you know, with a person like this one with his eyes closed. Just something kind of show that, you know, he loves people too. People kind of connect to that also. So he doesn't have too many pictures. I'm just going to put three here. Or four, should I say. That's his four pictures there. So you can have anywhere from four, sorry, from uh, one to ten pictures all together. The next thing you do up here in the right hand corner, um, but I'll just double check. I have everything, all his information correct, his pictures are there. Now I just hit publish. Once I hit this, somebody told me a trick. Uh, on the link, if you open it uh, seven to ten times, really 
it doesn't have to be fast, but you know, kind of in a sequence. Craigslist will not flag it because it will look that you know people have viewed it without flagging it, so it's a good sign. Um, and it seems to have worked for me, it stopped uh, me getting flagged all the time. Here's all my ads. I'm going to click on this is the newest one that I've done, and he's up. So, fingers crossed, this will help get camera in a home. Um, I can go back into my account yet again. Uh, usually in about two or three days it'll ask me if I want to renew the ad or delete it. I'll always renew it, keep it fresh. I try to do about, you know, at least a minimum of two ads a day. You can do up to four. Um, if you do too many, you will definitely get flagged. So I would say stick it two to four ads a day. As you can see, it's pretty easy and pretty fast. Um, and that's it.